but obviously our diet changed and we don't, no longer needed our appendix. And then it became some weird organ that occasionally Stop. blows up inside of you and then you got to go to the hospital and get cut open, you know. The weirdest thing is the appendix, like 200 years ago, they would have no idea what that was. You would just no suddenly idea. be in pain and then you would just die. Yeah. Yeah, you would just get cursed, pain for two cursed days. by a demon. Yeah. And then they figured, I don't know, maybe 200 years ago they had figured it out. But somewhere along the line they figured out what was happening. Huh. And whether or not you would get a good doctor that would diagnose it or one that would try to cure you of being possessed by demons, you know. Yeah. Who the hell knows? You, you had to roll the dice back then. Yeah. Isn't it amazing? Like when 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 Darwin first came out with his uh, his his book. Yeah. Um, people demonized him. Yeah. They they they, they the, the the science community was so Christian that anything other than that ideology was thought to be preposterous. Like the the science community was Christian at the time. Like, but the given is that God created the world in seven days. <laughs> and then from there, we can discuss, you know, right. what happens to oak trees in the summer. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's like they're trying to find a way for it to fit. That's the that's the rub. It's always trying to find a way that it fits. It's like it's, no one's willing to just go, this doesn't make any sense anymore. This does, yeah. <laughs> I think we're living in a way better time now. Because of the internet. Yeah. Yeah really accelerating things at a massive rate. Yeah.